Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Water and Woods. It's about 4.12 a.m. September 23rd, 2022. I am just waiting on the guys to show up because we are heading to New Jersey this morning. Finally doing our fall 2022 New Jersey coastal fishing trip. It's going to take about seven hours or so to get down there, but we're going to have some fun this morning. We're heading down to the Point Pleasant area. If you guys have seen our previous videos, we're heading right back to about the same area. So guys should be here any second. We're going to get on the road. We're going to go have some fun. Stay tuned. back everybody to another episode of water and woods we are in new jersey we just traveled seven hours we're down in point pleasant we're gonna do a little ocean fishing kind of switching gears from fresh water to salt water for a little bit trying to hit the fall fishing seasons here we're gonna see if we can get on some fish kind of winging it a little bit kind of just doing a multi-species thing we're getting set up to do a little crabbing throwing some bottom rigs just kind of see what we can catch this is the last weekend of fluke season down here so it closes in i think five days from now so we're going to see if we can get on some fluke hopefully catch a few and we'll get back at you in a bit when we start fishing here yeah all right i'm going to start off doing a little crabbing Maybe a little casting. Got a super windy day today because we got a hurricane coming up the coast. And it's starting to affect the area a little bit. So even though this is inside one of the bays, we got a lot of white caps and it's really, really rough. So no surf fishing today, no fishing along the inlet. We're gonna be trying to hit these little inland spots and maybe do a little crabbing, casting, whatever we can catch, we'll see. All right, guys, insanely windy day out here. We're gonna try some high-low rigs for some fluke, the summer flounder. Two hooks, one high, one low. This is a rig I tied myself. We're gonna try some Berkeley Gulp Pearl White with the chartreuse tail. See how these work out here. I'm gonna toss these out and pop them back, see what happens. All right, guys, here's the rig. Two Berkeley Power Bait, one high, one low. One ounce sinker on the bottom. Cast it out here, see what happens. Super, super windy day, guys. I'm gonna probably have to cover some of this audio later with music or something. I'm gonna try to get some good footage here. But this is the last weekend for fluke. Gotta see if we can get a couple here. First cast going out. guys clearly my Berkeley gulp are not gonna work they have been destroyed first fish first cast puffer already a little puffer so the puffers are definitely in I'm uh, hoping you can hear me because of this wind but that's a nice little puffer fish right there see if we can get them to puff up cool little fish Puff up. There you go. Guys, little puffer going back. 
They clearly like these Berkeley gulps. They destroyed me on these. I'm going to move these down a little bit. I'm going to throw them in again to see what happens here. Hopefully I can get something on them. See what he's got. Oh, he's big. That's cool. That's big one. Was he right inside the trap? Yep. That's a crazy looking thing. Man, that's awesome. He stole the whole like piece it. of chicken from me. Did he really? Yeah. The whole area smells like chicken probably here. They're shredding my lures. How are you gonna get him back in? You gonna push him in? Yeah, I'll push him. Get back in the water. Nice catch. I can go right back to the trap. <laughs> you probably will. What do we got here? Some clams, clams, some chicken drumsticks, and we got the little crab traps and uh, hand lines. We're gonna try too, see if we can get a few good blue crabs on this trip. All right, guys. One puffer fish and one big eel so far. They are destroying these gulp baits, ripping the tails right off, just shredding them with their little teeth. So might have to try something that's a little stronger to look through our tackle and see what we got. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. They are devouring everything we throw in there. All right, let's try this again. Rebaited with some gulp. Let's toss this baby back out, see what we can get. Oh, had another puffer on. Just lost the puffer. Yeah, the wreck would be pretty good here, especially the bottom one. Cut my tail right off on that one. Pull this back a little bit here. All right. Definitely puffers in here. in the trap. Come on out, buddy. <laughs> That's so cool. That little guy got stuck in the door of the trap. I think he tried to make an escape right as you shut the door. That's probably what happened. Oh, yeah. yeah, we've eaten oh, yeah. these before. Yeah, they're actually pretty not bad. They got some meat on them, so. You want to play catch for a bit? <laughs> the water in the belly. <laughs> He is not going to deflate. Is it full of water? You see it when you shake it. Oh, is it? it? Oh, yeah. That is awesome. All right. Let him go home. We'll get some more. We want some bigger ones. Blue. He's gone. And he's gone. Right, nice job. We are catching little baby puffers inside of our traps. So, I think we're going to move spots. Puffer fish and eels is all we've caught on spot number one. We're gonna get these guys back in the water.
Blackfish. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine being out there? Can you, that's where we stand. <laughs> All right guys, a little update. This morning did not work out that hot. We had a few fish, nothing great. We had some puffer fish or blowfish as we're called around here. Uh, some eels and now we're back out for a little evening fish on the inlet Manasquan River and we're gonna see if we can get some fluke Sea bass or anything else that really bites so we're gonna get at it and see if we can catch a few wind is really bad still out here and uh, We got some remnants of the hurricane that's coming up the coast. So we're gonna stay in off the inlet for now off the jetties and uh, hopefully we can catch a few in here. What are these called? Silver, frozen silver sides we're gonna try. Little silver side minnows. A couple on here, high low, Let's see what happens. Black sea bass, cool looking little fish. Real nice little one. Man, it's been tough today. This weather is really not cooperating. The wind is picking up really bad now. Waves are just about coming over the top of this break wall. Another small black sea bass. Lots of dinks today. Lots of dinks. Oyster toadfish, guys. That's an ugly looking fish. It's almost like a bullhead looking prehistoric fish. Crazy looking. Mouth on that gay. That's a crazy looking mouth on him. Cool looking tail, he's got some stripes down the tail. That's awesome. Get a couple pictures of him and then we'll get him back in. All right, buddy, get you back in here. Thanks for having fun with us.